So good evening everybody. So my pearl today is the role of social media in today's practice and why should we we even bother to enhance our online presence on the internet. So here are some simple statistics you can just pull off Google. So 5% of all Google searches are related to healthcare. The first two lines tell you uh, three times more visitors come to your hospital after they've ser searched and looked up for you. 44% of patients who surf and fish for options on the websites for a healthcare provider are more likely to go ahead and schedule an appointment. 53% of patients who don't find a video of your hospital don't know you, you exist basically. And it only takes one to six online reviews for potential patients to form an opinion about your practice. So one bad review can drive, drive them away. So why have an online presence? One, you get to tell your story to the audience. You get to tell them who you are and what you do. You make your presence known. It's cost effective. It costs you little to no, nothing to go ahead and um, put out your content online. And it also highlights the services that you're offering. So we have to touch upon the fact of something known as search engine optimization. This is the algorithm that, that all the search engines use to determine the order of the results which appear when a person goes ahead and types in something on Google. So basically, let's, go, uh, let's say you go ahead and type something on Google related to ophthalmology, let's say cataract surgery. It goes ahead and indexes hundreds of ranking factors or signals, look, looks at the online presence and gives it an order at which it ranks the um, uh, hospitals in the Google website. It can be Google, Yahoo or Bing, whatever. So search is often the primary source of digital traffic into your practice. So these are the hierarchy of search engine optimizations. One, you need to have a good website. The website should be user friendly. It should be uh, fast, easy to use. Shouldn't have too many pop-ups or complications where in which the patients are uh, put off and they move away. Should be keyword optimized. It should, use, it should have the words the patient is looking for and it should obviously have compelling content as well. So website optimization, as I said, should be user friendly. It should highlight the key services which you intend to show to your patient. It should have the correct keywords with the content that keeps the patient engaged. So here's an example of the same. This is our website. You look, look at it. It's very simple, very clean. It has the um, uh, front page content which uh, we want to tell a patient about. We want to tell them about our microscope or uh, laser cataract surgeries. So that's what we put out there. We use very simple terms. We don't uh, drive them away by using complicated uh, terminologies. We don't say phaco emulsification, two millimeter incision, no. We just say best treatment. We use the word laser, etc. And then on the top, you can see it's, uh, there's some tabs here about our services and our training programs and whatnot. Patients can go ahead and cl click on it and every tab gives them a very brief uh, um, information about the services that we offer. It's very easy to navigate through all of them and get the information that they want to. Another thing that we've recently implemented on the website is a 24-7 chatbot. This is a uh, software uh, developed by a company called Gravitas AI. So this basically uh, is able to chat and interact with the patients on a 24-7 basis. So whenever they pop on our website and ask the bot any questions, for example, uh, they can go over and ask it, is cataract surgery painless? Is it painful? Does it take a long time? Such basic questions and terminologies and information can be communicated via this chatbot. So what do I mean by optimizing your search engine optimization? One, you have to tailor your content across all platforms. You can't just keep it in one place. You can't just keep it on Facebook, can't just keep it on Instagram. It has to be on your website, it has to be on Facebook, has to be on Instagram, has to be on YouTube, has to be on Twitter, all the major websites. The content quality should be the same across all the board of the websites. You should use the correct keywords. You cannot use uh, very complicated terminologies. Sitting on YouTube and explaining the pa uh, patient a 20 minute video about cataract surgery is not going to help. Very simple terminologies, bladeless, painless, easy, quick recovery. All of these capture the patient's attention. There's also something you can use called a keyword planner. So this is something you can go to Google and look for. It's called a Google keyword planner. So you go ahead and type in cataract and it tells you what patients around your area are searching for. So let's say you go ahead to the key keyword planner and type in cataract. It will tell you, okay, uh, the most common searches your patients are doing related to cataract are, is cataract surgery painless? What is the cost of it? Uh, how soon can I recover? So all of these are keywords which you can take and implement into your content to keep the patient engaged. So this is an example of good uh, uh, search engine optimization. So uh, if I go ahead and type in smile LASIK in Chennai right now on Google, because we have optimized our search engine effectively, we have mentioned smile surgery in our website, one. And we also got a lot of our patients to go to our Google uh, page and give us Google reviews, which mentioned the word smile, laser surgery, quick recovery, etc. 
So Google has now decided that, that when patients go ahead and click uh, Smile LASIK in Chennai on Google, our um, uh, hospital comes up on top. So this is an effective way to optimize a search engine. Now, okay, the people now know, okay, fine, uh, our institution d does uh, smile surgery. So they go ahead, go ahead and uh, type in Umai Clinic uh, Smile. Next, they are now directed to the, all of our YouTube videos on Smile. So this is an example of social media integration where one content leads the patient to another, which keeps them engaged throughout their search. So what do I mean by compelling content? So what? Almost done, sir. So a patient uh, desire one simple solutions to their problems which are cost effective and resolvable in a timely manner. Let's look at this uh, ad from Pristin. So why are these people so successful? Look, look at the terminology. Laser cataract surgery, precise, bladeless, painless, all insurance accepted, no cost EMI, 20 minutes. It, under, it ticks all the boxes here. This is the reason why these people are effective and this is the type of targeting we need to do as well. So in summary, in today's day and age, online presence is essential. You have to highlight the service you want your audience to know is being performed. Use effective search engine optimization. And effective results come from building an online presence with consistent effort through months or even years. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Verma.